Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, 107th Genocide of Armenia's Memorial Ceremony, was held in the French city of Draginian. The delegation of Western Armenia visited the memorial of the victims of genocide of Armenians. Denial and interference, green light for Turkey and Azerbaijan, Geram Stepanyan. On April 28, the citizens of Western Armenia will pay tribute to the memory of the victims of genocide of Armenians. Statement by President Joe Biden on the occasion on April 24. It was the Grey Wolves of Azerbaijan who committed atrocities during the war. Armand Tatoyan. Armenians of their sim commemorated the victims of genocide of Armenians. Today is the birthday of Henry Morgenthau. On April 22, 2022, a memorial ceremony was held under the patronage of Mayor of Draginian Richard Strambio in front of the monument on Ali de Azemar, the genocide committed against the Armenian people in Western Armenia in 1894-1923 in the memory of the victims. The ceremony was attended by First Deputy Mayor of Draginian, Christina Permeseli, Vice Chairman of the War District, Christine Nicoletti, representatives of civil organizations and military officials as well as a representative of Union of Armenians of Draginian and Patriotic Unions, Chairman of the National Council of Western Armenia Armina Gabramian, Deputy Minister of Defense of the Western Armenian Republic Suresh Shahinyan, and a Deputy Chairman of National Association of Liberators and Veterans Mr. Vresh Abrahman, Flag Bearer and Deputy of Western Armenia, Chairman of the Association of French Veterans and Resistance Fighter Mr. Jen Kazarosyan. We remember and demand. On April 24, the delegation of Western Armenia, headed by Prime Minister Seda Melikian and NA President Nelly Harutunyan, visited the memorial of the victims of genocide of Armenians. The delegation included Western Armenian deputies, citizens, and children of Western Armenia from different parts of the world. The delegation laid a race on a memorial and commemorated the innocent victims. Human Rights Defender of the Republic of Artsakh, Geram Stepanyan, sent a message on the occasion of 107th commemoration of the genocide of Armenians. We present an excerpt for the message of the Human Rights Defender of the Republic of Artsakh. The genocide of Armenians is not a crime against humanity, committed and against a certain historical period. It is a constant goal of the Turkish Azerbaijani policy, which manifests itself in Western Armenia in the late 19th and early 20th century. At the end of the 20th century, in various settlements of Soviet at Azerbaijan and in Artsakh, in the autumn of 2020 in Artsakh. The denial of various countries, international structures and the difference due to political and economic interests are a green light for Turkey and Azerbaijan to constantly implement their criminal goals and for us Armenians the recognition and commemoration of the genocide for more than a century remains evidence of a constant desire to restore justice. On April 28, 2022, the Tsernak Abert Memorial Complex on the Territory of Museum Institute will host the annual commemoration ceremony of the victims of genocide of Armenians, organized by the government of Western Armenia at 12 a.m. We invite everyone to take part in our event. We are waiting for you, dear compatriots. On April 24, the President of the United States, Joe Biden, delivered a message dedicated to the 107th commemoration of the genocide of Armenians, confirming the commitment of American side to be attentive against the destructive influences of hatred and build a more peaceful world. In his message, Joe Biden in particular said, on April 24, 1915, the Ottoman authorities of Kastadnapol arrested the Armenian intellectuals and community leaders. Thus, the genocide of Armenians began one of the worst mass pogroms of 20th century. Today, we remember one and a half million Armenians who were deported, killed and marched to death during the extermination campaign, and we mourn the tragic loss of so many lives. The record of the former ambassador of Armenia, Armand Tatoyan, the cynical greeting by the Turkish Foreign Minister of Armenians, holding a peaceful rally in Uruguay, showing the sign of terrorist grave wolves, proves the existence of Turkish policy of genocide against Armenians. The no fascist extremist organization, Grave Wolves, also operates in Azerbaijan and is under the auspicious of Azerbaijan authorities. It was the Grave Wolves who committed atrocities during the war in April 2016. They committed the same atrocities with greater intensity in 2020 during the 44-day war. It is obvious that for the Turkish, also Azerbaijan authorities, the propaganda of peace with Armenia is a whale for the outside world. In fact, the genocidal policy towards Armenians has not decreased. Their true intentions are completely different. 
Commemoration ceremonies were held in various cities for the participation of Dersim Armenians in connection with the 107th commemoration of the genocide of Armenians in 1915. Members of Dersim Armenia's platform, numerous artists and citizens in a city of Dersim in Western Armenia jointly laid flowers and lit candles in memory of the victims, honoring their memory with a minute of silence. As part of the commemoration program in Yerevan, the members of Dersim Armenian platform, together with the delegation of government of Western Armenia, visited the genocide of Armenia's memorial and paid tribute to the memory of Armenians who were died during the genocide. A lot of people attended the commemoration ceremony. Members of the Armenian platform Dersim and the Association of Dersim Residents of Gas District of Kastadnapol also gathered to honor the memory of the innocent victims. Candles were lit and traditional feast of Gedas, which is considered a memorial ritual, took place. According to the members of the union, Turkey should come face to face with a genocide committed against the Armenians from which the Brotherhood of People should not suffer. Henry Morgenthau was born on April 26, 1856 in Mannheim, Germany. Henry Morgenthau was the ambassador appointed by U.S. President Woodrow Wilson in 1913 to the Ottoman Empire, has been facing a wave of reports of mass pogroms throughout the empire since the very beginning of his activity. In 1915, when the genocide of Armenians in Western Armenia was just gaining momentum, Henry Morgenthau was still skeptical about what he saw and heard. Henry Morgenthau was repeatedly called on the U.S. government to intervene to stop the extermination of Armenians. In 1915, he sent a petition to the State Department requesting funds to help the Armenians and warning that by using the deportation of Armenians for military necessity as a pretext, Turkey was actually pursuing the goal of exterminating the Armenians. Shocked by indifference of state by the raging massacre, Henry Morgenthau left the post of ambassador in 1916. Two years after which he published the documentation, The Story of Ambassador Morgenthau, in which he revealed the whole truth about mass killings and deportations. Now musical part Armenian folk song Zartnir Lau. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.